Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. Today we are going to discuss about the blend shape deformers in Autodesk Maya. Now, what is a blend shape deformer? Blend shape deformers actually calculates the vertex deformations. Now, uh, generally it used for creating the facial expressions, which is the most uh, used example of this blend shape. Otherwise, you can use it in a various way as long as you want. Uh, let sh let me show you how to uh, how exactly uh, the blend shape deformers actually works. Uh, I'm going to use these uh, facial expressions to uh, make you understand uh, for the use of blend shapes, different kind of uh, editing method of blend shape. But before that, uh, I would like to show you a very basic thing about the blend shapes. So first of all. Just uh, create a. Oops, that's my object. Okay, uh, <coughs> one single sphere, and just duplicate it. And remember, I'm not going to uh, use a freeze transformation over here. And this is very important. That whenever you actually duplicate uh, your object to make the target shape that means uh, a let's say um, vertex select the vertex and just move it a simple very simple now this vertex deformation will be calculated and incorporated in this base shape this uh, simple sphere is will be called as base shape and this will be my target shape now Remember, scaling won't help you because scaling is a transform node that is not going to calculate as a, a blend shape node. So you have to move the vertex. That is very important. Without moving the vertex, the blend shape won't calculate. So that's my target shape, and this is my base shape. This is these are the two terms that uh, blend shape actually understand. So first, you have to select the target shape. Then shift, you have to select the uh, base shape. If you have multiple targets, like uh, let's say I make another copy of that and I just uh, duplicate, sorry, make another deformation over here, a simple one. And first of, uh, first of all, I have to select both the target shape, then I have to select the base shape, then go to create deformers under the animation menu. Go to blend shape just to hit uh, reset settings and say create and that's it now if you select the base shape and go to the inputs you can see the blend shape one has been done now there are two different spheres that I've uh, created as a target shape it's blend shape 3 and you can see the movement of this uh, vertex will be animated through these values see polysphere 1 and polysphere 2 now this is the basic things about the blend shape basic ways to create the blend shape now let me show you with the example of the facial expressions that I have already created in my models okay this is my base shape this is a base shape character which is expressionless almost this is a smile face this is my sad face and I create another a uh, few one uh, that will I will show you one is a uh, uh, eye blink for eye blink so how can we uh, actually uh, create that now first of all I'll just select two ba base uh, sorry two target shapes like one smile and one uh, uh, eye, eye close and then shift select my base shape, base shape okay and then go to create formers blend shape and here while creating it you have to remember that you have to use the local one now why this is important because you want the deformation on the local basis not in the global basis now if you use the world option then what will happen this particular shape will shift and move towards the target shapes position now that I really don't want to uh, work with now 
if you really want to use a world then your target shape has to be exactly on the base shape I mean these two objects position have to be on the same then only the world world option will be a work I will strongly prefer you uh, prefer the local option so that uh, everything will work seamlessly and uh, it's not uh, becoming a very clumsy one so rest of the options I will I will discuss later okay now go to uh, reset settings this is these are the basic settings uh, shift select the uh, base object sorry first uh, select two target objects then shift select the base objects and hit create now renaming your target objects always helps you because I make uh, this one as girl underscore smile naming convention is very important and girl eyes close so the same way you will get into your blame shape option like girl smile and a girl eyes close so now if you select and increase these values you can see oops sorry you can see my uh, blend shifts are working absolutely fine okay so this is the basic blend shape application and now we are going to uh, show you uh, how to edit these options now for editing blend shape you have to go to edit deformers and go under the blend shape go to edit and here are two three options are out there one is add remove and uh, swap these are the three basic options for blend shape which is for for editing and big topology to targets have already been created in my in our tutorial sections please go through that that is a very interesting one for that is for a, a, a advanced users that those are already familiar with the blend ship but if you don't familiar with the blend ship please don't go through that first of all you just finish this tutorial and and just and just uh, you can okay okay so these are the blend shape uh, editing options one is add remove and swap now let's see what these can do okay so first option is add so how can you uh, use this add option now first I have already add the smile and uh, eye close now I want to add my sad face now for creating sad face I have to select the sad face then shift select the base face now if I create another uh, blend shape from create deformers option what will happen there are two nodes that will be created one is blend shape one and uh, if I now uh, use this option from the create blend shape menu it will create another blend shape node I really don't want to use that I want to add within that blend shape one like girl smile, girl eyes goes and girl sad. So for that thing, you have to go to add. Now if you, if you have two, three blend shape nodes, like blend shape one, blend shape two, or blend shape three, then you can switch on the specify node. Otherwise, it always go to the uh, existing blend shape node. So select the both and select and apply and close. Oops, sorry. I have selected my blend shape one option. So uh, please don't remember. Remember, please remember that you, you don't accidentally click on that input option like this because that actually uh, select the blend shape one uh, node. So uh, select this and just hit. So that's done. Now, uh, if you go to the base object and you can see. The, under the blend shape one you can uh, see the girl uh, sad option has been added already okay so that's my uh, blend shape options for adding and if you want to uh, remove any options like uh, say I want to uh, remove my smile from from the uh, blend shape node it's uh, deleted because uh, 
the same way I have added, I I can delete the same option. You can see the smile has been gone. So that's how we can actually you know remove any any you know uh, blend shape deformers. Uh, sorry, the target uh, shape from the blend shape node. And another one is a swap. Swap is actually for the positioning over over there. Like you can say, uh, I want my smile to be on top, and then sad, and then eyes closed. Now, what can I do? First of all, I have to select my smile, then go to the base mesh and say add. Okay, so I have add my smile over here, but it's absolutely on the below. So what I can do is I uh, I select my smile and select my eye close then shift select my base object and hit swap oh sorry uh, I don't I need to uh, select my you know base object so hit swap and they will swap their position in the blend shape you can see the girl smile is uh, on the top and then girl sad and then my girl eyes close uh, uh, shape so that's how we can add remove swap the uh, blend shape options from the uh, blend shape menu okay now let me show you something really cool uh, if I when I created this uh, uh, eye close let's do deformer blend shape let's create and oops okay now if you if you really look closely for the eye close option it's really coming straight it should come out on the on a very you know circular way because our eyes are in a circular way if you have a very big eyes for your cartoony type characters you can see that 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 there we can have a penetration issue over there for that thing what you can do is a, there is an option in on the blend shape for creating blend shape nodes at the in between options that is a very handy for that let's see uh, how it can be used there okay just uh, remove my blend shape from my base shape okay first of all uh, select this is my half close shape and then select the uh, the complete close and then the base mesh and go to the create deformer blend shape option and here is you can use as in between the target shape options as an in between now remember one thing that the selection process the selection series is uh, very important first selection and the second selection and then your the base so go to create and you can see my blend shape has only one blend shape node that is girl size close now here you can see if I increase my value it's actually going towards my half close shape and then coming to the entire close option so that is a one single uh, option that is uh, very useful to you know uh, make a, a blending between two different targets one is uh, for half and then one for entirely close it so that will uh, actually help you out and that's about the basic option okay now this Check topology option is a really cool option. Check topology is actually uh, actually it's examine that the base object and the base shape and the target shape are uh, having the same topological calculation or not. That is sometimes uh, really helpful whether your vertex counts are uh, same or not to check it out. And if you switch off that, you can even you know bypass the uh, the problem that sometimes if you have some kind of changes in your model some uh, some kind of changes in your in your you know 
you know the target objects uh, to you added some faces or maybe extruded maybe whatever it is it's like uh, add some extra cuts from uh, for the for the extra details those kind of uh, adding or the deformation of the extra things that you added later on is actually been you know ignored by this uh, check topology options if you switch off that now let me show you very one cool example that how can you use check topology okay I have on my cylinder I just uh, have to switch on my poly count because I want my poly count to be on okay and I have on my sphere okay my sphere vertex count is 382 and my um, cylinders vertex count is right now 42 so I want to increase my subdivision height okay and my subdivision cap to such a way that I want my okay now these two options these two objects are on the same number of vertex one is 382 vertex and these also have the 382 vertex so right now what can I do can we shift one shape to another e let's try okay so first of all select the cylinder or maybe the, the sphere then shift to the cylinder and go to create deformer blend shape and I will just switch off my take check topology option and in between option and say create okay let's see what we can do please fair one whoops okay so here we can convert one sphere to cylinder or cylinder to sphere now why this is happening I mean how is that possible this is this happened because my topological structure is almost same I and mean, it doesn't mean that you can change from any shape to any shape that is not possible there's some limitations this is just a fun stuff that I'm showing you there are some limitations that we can uh, have to understand that I have uh, uh, used the same way if you if you go for a box or poly cube or maybe torus that won't happen completely because the entire topological structure is um, completely different why this happened because uh, polysphere and cylinder same uh, polysphere and polycylinder actually share some same topological references uh, like you can if you can see this pinch on the the top that's actually happening over there so that's way if you have some similar kind of topological structure of two different entirely object that I can assure you that you yes you can use these options as a as a as a you know shape shifter or something so hope you understand this uh these options and hope you enjoy this. this is a very basic of the blend shape i will definitely uh, go on to the uh, very advanced level or intermediate levels of the blend shapes use in the in the, in the coming chapters so hope you enjoy this thank you very much Please and uh, just don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and like our Facebook page so that you can get updated uh, each and every day for our newest uh, sharings and different uh, tutorials.